Well, Roland says some big changes are on the way, and this will be bringing rain and cooler temperatures. Yep. Uh, first storm comes in tomorrow morning. Okay. In fact, I think tomorrow morning storm has the potential to be the wettest of the two storms. The second storm looks more dynamic, but it looks like it's going to be heading down into Utah. So we're going to be on the northern fringe or the outer edge of that second storm as it brushes by the state of Idaho. But we're already starting to see some increasing clouds from storm number one. That's going to be affecting us tomorrow morning. A scattering of showers, actually some thunderstorm activity across Elko into the north end of Utah. Most of this activity is going to continue to stay away. This is what we're watching here. It's the leading edge of this first storm that's now starting to generate some showers across Washington and also Oregon moving down into extreme northern California. So here it is storm number one. That's what we're going to call it. No shower activity expected for us tonight. However, we are going to continue to see increasing clouds. Then storm number two is actually a little more dynamic. It's packing some cold air. This is a trough of low pressure, and I wish I could tell you that the core of that storm was going to be brushing by southwestern Idaho on Saturday, but it's not. It's going to be digging down into Nevada and working its way across Utah, so we're going to catch the north end of that storm. So here's the future cast tonight. There you can see we're going to have the increasing clouds. Here comes storm number one. I don't think it's going to generate shower activity for very long, but it has the potential of generating showers for the morning commute. And then by noon, one, two o'clock in the afternoon, this system starts to move off to the east. We'll have partly cloudy skies tomorrow evening. Then here comes storm number two, and there it takes its track more toward the south across Nevada into the Salt Lake area. The jet stream for Saturday's storm is going to be digging down toward the south. Yesterday, the models were suggesting perhaps it was going to be favoring Idaho, but now the models are saying that the primary storm zone, or shall I say the main storm zone, is going to be across Utah right down the Wasatch Front. They're going to be seeing some snow, but still, because we're going to be on the northern fringe of that, I can't rule out the possibility of at least a scattering of showers possible for us on Saturday, but it's not going to be a washout weekend by any stretch of the imagination. So here's the forecast then for the Treasure Valley. We're going to go with showers, especially in the morning, then some sunshine tomorrow afternoon. And storm number two will just generate a shower chance on Saturday. Some mountain snows are possible. Clearing skies on Sunday. Then, boy, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, it looks phenomenal. Temperatures are going to be jumping rapidly from the 60s on Sunday all the way up to 80 degrees by Wednesday. Why is that? Big high pressure starts to build in. A warm southwesterly flow will settle in as well. The mountains will see showers tomorrow with a little rain snow possible above 4,000 feet. Clearing skies Sunday, sunny and warm next week. Just in time for our mm. go back to work day. Yeah, so the weekend's not going to be all that bad after all. Just a because scattering of showers on Saturday. Because we're going to miss the main core the of that The core of the storm is staying Saturday. south. Yep. Okay. okay. Natalie?